Belters and welcome. It is 2024. We have done it. We've made it. Um, it's the 3rd of January. I always like to let the figures get to the end of the year and make sure I add them up exactly. So I've gone through everything and it's a really good reflection point for me to go through um, how I did last year and the year before as well and compare it all. And it's lovely to have you come along on the journey with me. And I always do this not to sort of say this is how much I'm earning, but to sort of demonstrate that a needle felting business is possible. Um, and, you know, you can do it. Diversification really helps. And let's talk through the figures. So I've written it all down in my new planner. It's the Maker's Yearbook. I think they were probably doing a really big advert on it this year. And I saw this and thought, you know, I'm going to go for it. And I've put some of my own stickers on it. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Philippa and I run a needle felting business and I sell um, a couple of other little bits and bobs. And I have a few ways in which I earn money. I do it through YouTube, Amazon affiliates, Etsy, Thinkific, where my online courses are, craft fairs and then... I also did a small sort of art week celebration and then I think I sold a few bits in a shop towards the end of last year. So breaking it down, YouTube was about 9,000, Amazon Affiliates was about 600, Etsy was just under 10,000, which, um, yeah, is a lot for me. I think that's a, a, a couple of thousand at least up on last year. Thinkific was just over 4,000 craft fairs and selling... Uh, a, in the other various ways was just over a thousand. So that breaks it down into five different ways, but the grand total was £24,942.25. And that is turnover. That is not pure profit. Profit is going to be a little bit lower. It's harder for me to work out until the very end uh, of the tax year. That's when I can see it a bit clearer, but I would definitely take off probably six to 8,000 because the kits, they're, they're quite a lot of expense really. The, there's not too much profit on a kit, but I've been selling a lot of kits. So that's how it works. So when I looked at my turnover last year, it was 20,000 and my turnover the year before was 16,000. So um, looking at that, that's definitely sort of a 4,000 pound increase each year. So fingers crossed, maybe, I don't know, maybe my income will, you know, jump another 4,000 next year. But however, that's fantastic. I'm really pleased with it. Now, I set myself a target. Um, well, I think last year I, I cleared about 1,200 profit per month, 1,200 pounds. And I don't think I've gone much above that. I had a lot of expensive items that I bought this year. And so my expenses, I think, are quite high this year. Sometimes I think, should I just do nothing else and just get the money from YouTube and sit on that? Because sometimes you don't feel you're actually earning, but I am building and building all the time on this business. So last year, looking at a couple of highlights, I would say definitely my um, hair course was um, big for me, really, really big. And everybody... Uh, was so complimentary about it and, and the fact that when I see the hairs that have been made that look like my hairs I'm so pleased but yeah that was a big um, one for me obviously YouTube it always is but do you know my woodland baubles that I just did recently went down really well so thank you so much everybody um, I couldn't believe you guys enjoyed that so much I did enjoy Holmfirth Art Week an awful lot this year even though I didn't earn that much from it because you can only put two items into it but I still really enjoyed it um, so I think those are my main things and the fact that the kits are selling well for me as well is a really it's a big Etsy that's sort of pushing my Etsy shop and I think Etsy show me to a lot more people because of that so that's the figure the main figure it was just under 25,000 really 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 happy about that personally and it means I can invest some of that money yes um, a lot of it goes towards our uh, family account but I can still invest quite a bit of money into my business now you sort of get to that stage where you can keep some of the money for your business and reinvest it. My YouTube is at about 66 and a half thousand. Sorry, I keep looking down. Um, I think that's gone up just under 20,000 again. So it's a very fantastically sort of regular straight line, my YouTube. I'm, uh, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it, but you guys are here. So thank you. And then Instagram is at 5,200 and Instagram's very slow burner for me but it's fine and I don't put loads into it because well I don't see 
it promotes my business, of course, but I see my business promoted in other places. I don't earn money from Instagram. I also have the podcast, which I wouldn't ever be sort of earning money from. And I will get back to it. I will do some more podcasts at some time. But obviously, as we say, we can't do everything, can we? Um, I have just developed my email list. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got over a thousand people on that. So I finally managed to sort that. That's why I sort of find the two weeks over Christmas, I had to, I could stop videoing, have a little break and just do all the paperwork. So sort I've of gone through my website, done a few other bits and bobs. So really happy. So looking to this year, I have just applied to crafts in the pen. Ooh. Who knows? I don't know if I would apply to Yarndell as well because I could only do one or the other and you wouldn't find out until June whether you're in, you're in crafts in the pen. I guess you could apply for both and then um, not do. But I really enjoy Yarndell and going around with my girlfriends. So I think I just want to keep Yarndell as going around. I think crafts in the pen is definitely more suitable for presents and for Christmas gifts um, for the kind of thing that I'm producing. And Yarndell, I love looking at wool. As you can see, I've already <laughs> broken the don't buy any more wool uh, resolution. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I've applied for crafts in the pen. I'm at uh, Yummy Yorkshire for definitely two, uh, maybe three events. And I'm also setting up some workshops, which I will announce at the end of January. And I'm going to quite a few workshops too. That'll all be in my studio vlog, which will be um, at the end of January. So do subscribe if you want to sort of follow my business journey a little bit closer. But as I always say, none of this happens without you guys. You are creating my business and supporting my business and developing it. Um, and I get so many ideas from you guys as well, let alone the support and the lovely comments. The comments are just incredible. So a huge thank you. So happy new year to everybody. And yeah, we'll see you at the end of January. I've got a few more videos as well for during the month just to keep you um, busy. I hope you enjoy them, but thanks for being here and see you soon.